Good morning. I've just woken up. I had a good night's sleep. It's about quarter past six. Um, I'm pretty chilly <laughs> though. <laughs> it's raining and grey and miserable. I've just kind of peeked out the window. So I'm going to stay in bed for a little bit longer. I'm not getting up yet. This is the view from my bed. I'm just lying there, even though it's raining. I think a little bit of rain is coming in, not too much. Just lying there with the window open. It's the first time when I've car camped that I've actually felt okay to just like lie here with my window open and look out. Because when I've done it before, I've always been a bit more like towns or like little villages or whatever. <clears throat> Where is here? There's nothing around other than a few more, a few campers. Oh, it's been a lovely morning, just lying here with my window open, just listening to the rain, and oh, it's been so nice. But anyway, it's almost eight o'clockish now. I've been lying there for quite a while. Um, what I think I'm going to do, I've just been having a look on the map. There's a little village, like literally just down the road where i think there's some toilets so i think i'm gonna head over there and just like go to the toilet freshen up a little bit clean my teeth and stuff and then i might come back here to make myself some breakfast i'm not sure yet but first off we're gonna go and get all freshened up for the day this time i brought my sliders with me which was such a good idea it's so much easier to put them on in the morning rather than trying to put my boots on I've just arrived at the car park where toilets are just there, but oh my goodness, look. There's like castle ruins just up there on that hill. I'm about to go back to the spot that I was in before, but I've just had some little bit of real life. I told you I was running away from reality. <laughs> it doesn't work, it catches up with you. Uh, no, my cats are staying with a friend at the moment and they are, what the, one of them's been a little bit sick so we're just trying to figure out whether they need to go to the vet or whatever so I'm just trying to sort that out. Can't escape reality, however ever hard you might try. I'll just sort this out and then we'll go back to that spot and get some breakfast. Rain has stopped so that's nice. slightly awkward but just what I needed some nice warm soup mm. well, I was just sitting here looking at hikes to see if there was like well obviously there's loads of hikes around here but i was just looking on all trails to see if there was a hike that i fancied doing and i checked my emails luckily i did in an hour's time i have um most of you will know i'm a foster carer not at the moment because of the house renovations but i've got a, like we have an annual review i've got my annual review today i've got it in my calendar for next wednesday but I've just been sent a link to the meeting for today. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna now, <laughs> this running away from reality, reality is catching up with me. I guess I'm gonna sit here and prepare for my fostering review and do that here. Luckily, I've got really good signal. What time's the meeting? 10.15, it usually lasts about an hour, which to be fair, maybe it's quite, like foggy at the moment maybe we need to give the sun a chance to come out maybe and like burn away some of these morning clouds so it'll be clearer for a little hike after this meeting it's always time for my review i've just been sat here with my laptop making some notes and things 
I've got them here. It's kind of a good little test to see how real life works in the car, I guess. I've got my phone on charge using my little portable battery thing. and I'm just sat in the meeting room waiting for someone to let me in. I'm really nervous. I hate my foster home abuse. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, come on. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. That was a quick one, though. We didn't really have anything to talk about because I haven't been fostering. Right. Let's go. This is the car park. Start of the hike. This is what I'm doing. Hollins Cross and Mam Tor Circular. Two and a half hours. Seven kilometres. I'm only about five, ten minutes into this hike. I'm not actually sure whether we're going up there or not. Look at those low clouds. They're well below the height of the uh, hill. If it is up there that I'm going, visibility is going to be crap. Love the sheep. Some of them just don't care. The sub, like this guy, just stare at you. Yeah, you. Hello. Oh, well, this guy is camera shy. <laughs> oh, that one's got a little lamb. Can you see it? A little black lamb. Pretty confident now that we are going up there. There's a path that I'm assuming it's a continuation of this path. Um, gonna get steep now Ooh. oh my goodness my neck is... look at these views it's so peaceful I didn't come dressed for the occasion I'm absolutely boiling I had to take my coat off I needed just like a light a lightweight waterproof but I didn't have one do you see that line of bands there I'm pretty sure that was where I parked last night it is, I recognise that little house. The hair's gone back. I'm so hot. I was just thinking, I moan about the rain an awful lot, but I shouldn't moan about the rain. I should be thankful for it because the rain is one of the reasons why, wow, we get views like this. It's so green. We're going off pass it's getting a bit rocky this is just stunning it's making me quite emotional oh, like the fact that i can get out here and do this and enjoy this is incredible you know at some point in my life maybe you know when i'm older and mobility isn't as good or whatever i won't be able to do this and Oh, it just makes me, it just makes me appreciate it. Oh, wow. And then I look at that and get a reality check. Think, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Amazing. This is impressive. Nice work, people. I can't wipe the smile off my face, it's just so stunning up here. We got more uphill, one more peak, and then I think it's on the way down. Oh, it's so misty. We are well in the clouds, even more so now. I can't see anything. made it to the top the views are minimal but that's 
that's okay. Wow, that was epic. I think I've just got to walk through the field a bit here and then I think I join the road and maybe walk when it's past. Back to where we just were. Or where I was, you weren't there. Start of the Wurnt Pass. This is just absolutely epic. It's incredible. This place is just stunning. I can't even believe it. Oh my goodness. I don't know if these images are doing this place justice. I think they are. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. I feel so small. There's just vastness all around me. Wow, look. Oh my goodness. It's lunchtime. It's not going to be the most delicious, delicious lunch I've ever eaten, but I've got some chickpeas and some rice. It's like a flavoured rice, so it might be alright. A vegetable or two would be nice, but... Ow! I didn't bring any. I'm going to put ketchup on it. I am feeling full from that lunch. It was alright once I added a bit of ketchup. ketchup. Um, and that walk was just epic. And we're going to move on. It's about three-ish, I think. I am gonna, I would contemplate going home today, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna drive to a place called Buxton. I don't know what it's like, I don't know what's there, I don't know. Just gonna drive there and see. The reason, well, I was just gonna go home, but the reason I'm gonna stay another night is the Japanese Grand Prix is this weekend and practice for it is tomorrow. And obviously timings with Japan and England it's about I think the first one is on at like one o'clock in the morning or maybe two, I don't know maybe it's a bit later than that actually two two three o'clock in the morning and then there's another one on at six o'clock in the morning and I want to watch them and if I went home and slept at home tonight I maybe wouldn't be able to because the builders would arrive and things so I can watch it in the car so I'm gonna uh, yeah drive to Buxton and uh We'll see, I may, may end up staying in Buxton for the night, may end up going somewhere else, I'm not quite sure yet. Well, apparently, I'm at the pavilion in Buxton. It's all going on here. I hope there's some toilets. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I've stumbled across here, but there are toilets. Happy little accident to have stumbled across this place. 
it's wonderful there's loads of stuff going on over there like a little market and there's an ice cream store and there's soft play for kids and a um, fairground thing and there's some beautiful gardens as well that i'm gonna have a little wander around oh there's a little train track i assume a little a little mini train takes kids around on the here just enjoyed about an hour or so wandering around here I don't know now. I'm gonna go back to the car. I don't know whether I'm gonna stay here for the night with that. I might. I know that can be bothered looking for a place if I'm honest. I know back yesterday, Marple, where I was, there's a car park there, a free car park that you can stay over night. I might head back there. It's kind of on my way home a little bit. Like 20 minutes in the right direction anyway. This is my park up for the night, I think. I'm gonna just hold on before I decide completely see how it goes with other cars in the car park whether it completely empties off and then i'm just this lone car but to be honest i'm knackered i've had a very <laughs> um strenuous day so i just want to relax i just want to hop in the back and it's about six o'clock i was gonna say go to sleep but i don't want to go to sleep but i just want to just chill i honestly feel like i could just get into bed <laughs> it's very early but I'm going to be up in the night to watch the um, FP1 for Japanese Grand Prix, so I might actually soon, soonish, just hop in the back. Listen to that rain. It's going to be raining all night. I love that noise. Right, I'm going to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. I'm awake. It's pouring down still. Can you hear it? Oh, I'll probably fall asleep to be honest whilst I'm watching this, but I'm gonna put it on. Live. Japanese FP1 Good morning. It is, I think it's like just after seven. I'm a little bit sleepy after waking up to watch the first practice session for um, Japan. I'm just watching the next one now. I did go back to sleep after the first one and the second one's just started so I'm just going to lie here and watch this and figure out where the nurse toilets are and stuff. I'm going to go home this morning. Or this afternoon, I don't know, it depends. I was just looking for like a little walk or something because I figured that actually I'm gonna, like, when I go home, I'm just gonna go straight to the gym and have a workout and shower. So I figured I would probably like do something on the treadmill in the gym and rather than doing that, I may as well do it outside, like go on a hike or something. I'm gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for coming along on these car camping adventures with me. I will see you in the next one. I'll probably go somewhere next week as well. We shall see. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.